Okay, so in this session, we are going to discuss another important uh, topic, and that's called uh, nine point circle in a triangle. Uh, so, what we are going to do is we are going to draw a triangle and uh, uh, identify or you know uh, construct a nine point circle and then try to see its properties. And in the later session, we'll also try to prove few properties related to nine point circle. So, let's first start with what exactly is a nine point circle so in the previous sessions you studied about um, medial medial triangle and what was medial triangle basically so the triangle formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of a triangle and then uh, we also learned concepts of orthocenter centroid in center circumcenters and things like that so uh, we will be using uh, you know those concepts again and uh, with some special uh, you know attributes added to them we'll see how a nine point circle is generated so basically uh a nine point circle is nothing but as as the name suggests there would be nine points we have to identify those identify those nine points so those nine points are nothing but the foot of the altitudes in the triangle the midpoints of the sides of the triangle and the midpoint of the segment joining the ortho center and the vertices so instead of explaining in words let's try and explain through geogebra okay so let's first draw a triangle so this is a b let's see and yeah a b c is the triangle now we will try to find out what what did i say the as we are discussing nine point circle so we must have those nine points. So what are those nine points? First three points are nothing but the midpoint of the given sides. So A B. Um, first draw this. Yeah. So A B. B C is D, and then this is E. And this is E, and yeah F. So these are the midpoints of the sides of the triangle, right? Now what do we do? We have to draw altitudes, right? So let's draw altitudes here. So first altitude is this one, and then second is this one. Sorry, yeah. Second one is from this side to this point. Ah, so this is second altitude, and third one, as you know, will pass through the point of intersection. But this altitude uh, intersection point is too close to B, so let me just change the position of B so that it becomes more clear. Yeah, so this looks good, right? Now, what we are going to do is we are going to find out, and first, before that, let's first name the point. So let's say this point is G, then H, and uh, I, and J, like that. Yeah, point of intersection has to be there so yeah this point and this point right so now uh, these are how many points did we get so um let's count them so first of all d e f three points and i h i j six points we need three more what are these three more nothing but midpoints of midpoint of B G A G and G C. Okay, so midpoint of B G. So let me draw the midpoint. Yeah, so K is the midpoint. Then secondly of A G. So L is the midpoint. And third C G. So M is the midpoint. So can you see there are nine points now? What all? Uh, let's start D H K F J L I E M. Right. These are the nine points. And now, to our surprise, if we try to join all of them, let's try to join all of them. So, if you can see, we get a circle passing through all of them. So, that means all these nine points lie on the same circle. Isn't it interesting, guys? So, all of them lie in the same circle. Now, you'd be, have, you'd be thinking that maybe this is because one particular configuration of the triangle. So to eliminate that doubt, let's try to you know see different different triangles. So let me just reposition B. So 
as I'm changing V, you can see in every such triangle, so these are all random triangles, and you see you always get a circle. This particular circle is called nine point circle, right? So let's say now this is an equilateral triangle, almost, and yes, so you can see you you will get yeah but now what happens is the triangle disappears the moment it becomes an apt obtuse angle triangle but is that so so let's first try to make an obtuse angle triangle so if you see now i have made a obtuse angle triangle obtuse angle triangle so angle abc is an obtuse angle and the orthocenter g in this case is lying outside the triangle it has to be but let's see if in this case also we get a circle so hence again if we join all those same nine points so k l so you can see again you're getting a circle so let me now try to move this b so hence whether the ortho center g is inside circle oh uh, sorry inside the triangle or it is outside the triangle you will always get a nine point circle isn't it interesting so let me just move this point a right so if you see as a is moving irrespective of that fact we are getting a nine point circle all the time and let me make this now obtuse so yeah even then you can see there is a nine point circle right right so i hope this is clear to you and similarly if i move c also you will see yeah. so this is the concept of nine point circle now there are lots of properties attached to this nine point circle which will take up in the successive sessions.